Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome to the Cuz Wrestling Show. Uh, Mega Man Chris Mercado here. I'm here with the assassin, Sal Marasa. Um, and uh, we just watched Fastlane a couple days ago. So, this is going to be our recap on WWE's Fastlane pay per view, and we'll talk about what we thought of that. Overall, the pay per view was okay for me. Um, I heard the same from a lot of people. Making it up was actually those last couple of matches, especially that last match with Reigns versus Bryan. Probably the best, no, it is the best match I've ever seen Roman Reigns in. Yes, definitely. Um, I agree. With Bryan being a, you know, a good ring general um, and controlling this match. Um, and this was, this was WWE's opportunity to shove it in everybody's face that Roman Reigns can be the guy and he can have a great match. Um, this was a, a very, very good and exciting match. Um, now, what do you think? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> uh, it, it was Roman Reigns' best match. It shut me up because I was uh, skeptical, skeptical of uh, and he Roman was Reigns. he was doubting me when I was calling <laughs> that Roman Reigns was gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> well, I knew Roman uh, Reigns was gonna win. I just I just thought it was gonna end in a no contest. I thought maybe we would see the three way happen at Mania again. But actually, I'm glad that's not gonna happen. I yeah. mean. I, At least I mean, I hope that it doesn't happen. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. So. See, here's the thing, um, and I, I WWE Vince McMahon, he like when I when I said in our previous video, he knows what he's doing. Um, we we were watching it at my house. My mother took one look at Roman Reigns and she fell in love with him. She's like, and oh! that's the thing that Vince McMahon sees, and that's what you need in somebody who's gonna be a star. When WWE is looking for that next that next star they want somebody they can put in their movies they exactly. want somebody they're gonna make millions and millions of dollars off of um and you know roman reigns is possibly that guy if somebody who's never watched wrestling before can take one look at this guy and be like wow who's that um that's what the wwe is looking for that's why they picked roman reigns so there is reason behind the madness um but yeah it was good that they showed that he he can hold the um a match against Brian, who was good. And, I mean, hats off to Brian for uh, being where he's at and letting the WWE, you know, put over Roman Reigns over him. Um, right, exactly. So I, I'm not, there's not a lot of people that would do that. Um, so that, that that was pretty awesome with Brian. Yeah, I, I was skeptical of Roman Reigns. Not that I didn't want him to be there Ever, I, I I knew he would be there at some time, and I wanted him to be there at some time. I just didn't think it was now. But that match proved to me that I could could have been wrong, and um, so we'll see what happens. The next thing we're going to talk about is the confrontation that everybody was looking forward to. Uh, also, was the Sting and Triple H, which actually was uh, kind of weak, and I think could have been better. What are your thoughts? Um, I thought it was pretty good. I thought they. They utilized Sting in the right way. Um, he didn't talk much. He just kind of um, has this presence about him and this feel about him. And I think that that's what they, they were going for, that old Sting feel from WCW where he doesn't say much. He's just kind of a, you know. Yeah, but the WWE, a lot of casual WWE fans do not really know who Sting is. You know, the hardcore fans, yes. but So that's why they need Sting to talk. I don't think WWE. I don't think so. I think Triple H did a good job with the talking. He controlled the mic and yeah, he's um, given history lessons. Him and Ric <laughs> given history lessons, but I I I think that's why uh, I'm going to go over to Raw for a minute. Is that why they showed the whole package of Sting, showing even back to his old older days, so people can get a better feel of who Sting is because they don't. When Sting comes out, he's not getting a, a crowd reaction. And also, even his entrance is weak. Everything about this, to, to me, is weak with Sting. I don't like how they're, they're utilizing him. This is why he didn't want to come into the company in the first place. And I don't like how they're the lack of utilizing him. I understand that by holding him back to have the match at, at WrestleMania. But um, I would have liked to see him make a couple more appearances and talk a little more. But... They they are doing the like I said they're doing the um, I don't know I think he's boring I think when he comes out <laughs> the, the, his his music and well I was never out. a Sting fan I was never a Sting fan you can kill me now um, <laughs> <laughs> I love WCW but I didn't I did not watch WCW for Sting um, Ric Flair Rick yes, Flair, yes yeah. but I was never a Sting fan and especially when he did the whole Crow thing 
uh, which I never liked because it was a it was, it was a ripoff rip of the crow. Yeah. But you know, most of the wrestling fans don't care about that. I like him. I I liked his days when I I mean I didn't know him in his old older days, but when I got into contact with some of his older videos and some of his older matches, I actually became a fan of those. But the the up until. Yeah, I liked so when the wrestling MWA thing days. before the the crow thing when he had right. the, the regular the colored face paint and right. he was really exactly uh, and, and, and really even good. the times when he was I I saw a video of him even with Ultimate Warrior when he was tagging with him yeah. great matches he's a great wrestler a uh, great entertainer in the in the ring but when he became the crow and the whole WCW thing I agree with my cousin that I I did not like that at all yeah and when he went to um, TNA. Um, I would say he got much better on the mic in TNA than or when he was in WCW. Just that everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> but could, no, yeah, could I mean, be because he 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 had yeah he has, he has experience. experience yeah. But um, yeah, so that was I, I don't know. I liked it. You didn't like it. I thought it was okay. We had John Cena versus Rusev. Rusev defeat John Cena by submission. What would you, what were your thoughts on that one? Again, another great match. Um, Rusev keeps proving himself. Um, this is what he needs to do to to prove that he he can take it to the next level. What better than that way than to beat John Cena, who's who's you know top in the company? Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he if he gets a second win at WrestleMania over Cena. Um, well, to, John to Cena really doesn't need the U.S. Belt. Yeah, he doesn't need the U.S. Yeah. title, and um, so uh, yeah, hopefully he, Rusev does win. But let, we'll see what happens. And I called it too. I called it that uh, he would uh, get passed out, right? Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I love the job. Uh, uh, Lana did a good job. A match another good match. John Cena always putting out a great match, especially every pay per view. So um, you say that he's not part of your top five? N- no, not for the top. Well, not yet, but <laughs> yeah, he he is he definitely is is a good leader there. And he he leads by example as far as what what a good match should be um, every single time. All right. Um, <clears throat> Bad News Barrett defeated Dean Ambrose by disqualification for the Intercontinental Championship match. I thought the the match um, was okay. Uh, yeah, it was. Could, it was all right. Could have been better. Um, I thought there was better ways to get disqualified. disqualified. Confused as to why he's walking around with the belt before. <laughs> the the pay per view. Well, that's so storyline wise. Yeah. You know, like you know, they're giving them a, some type of story that you know, because he's the lunatic and he's crazy and he's gonna do you know crazy stuff like that. You know, yeah. for entertainment purposes. It was a decent match. <laughs> uh, it wasn't you know one of the best matches of the night. All right, and then we had Nikki Bella versus Paige for the women's championship. Um, Paige does a, is doing a good job of being you know the sympathetic. Uh, baby face, but for me, the the women's matches the last couple of weeks have been not so good, not as good as they could be, not as good as they have been in the the previous weeks. Um, right, we'll touch more on that a little bit later. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. A tag team match. We had new champions in Tyson Kidd and Cesaro beating the Usos. Yeah, um, I was glad to see them win the tag team titles. Um, that's what we wanted. We wanted to see them, if they're going to be a tag team, to actually be a force to reckon with in the in the tag team division. Um, but does you know, this mean now that Jimmy and Jay Uso win it back, back at WrestleMania? They could possibly win it back. I see. want them to keep those titles. Maybe this is some type of test, maybe. That you know, yeah. let's see what what happens in the next month if they I, get over. I think that's exactly what they're going to do. And if they do get over, then maybe they keep the titles. Yeah, if they I don't, think that's exactly gonna what they're going to do. They're going to see the crowd reaction, see how everybody reacts to um, to Kid and Cesaro having that title. And if they do good, I, I you know, they'll keep it. If if they're not getting a, a great response, then you know, well, they're, they're getting back a great to the drawing board. I, I love, I always loved uh, Tyson Kid, and I love Cesaro. And I'm glad that they're doing something with them, which I've I've talked about before. And you know, if if people aren't on the Tyson Kid Cesaro bandwagon, then I think everybody is on the Tyson Kid Cesaro bandwagon except for WWE. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, but at least they're giving them a shot. They're giving yeah, them a chance. Yeah, they're giving them so, a chance, so and this is their chance. So that. hopefully, they get a good crowd reaction. So. If you watch any of those matches, give them a good response because we want to see them hopefully eventually go their separate ways and be really good singles competitors. Right. All right, and then we have a singles match between the uh, the Road Brothers, uh, Goldust and Stardust. This was a weak match. Um, yeah. I expected a lot more from this match. 
Um, yeah, this this match just sizzled down for me. I was expecting so much. And in the beginning, I was like, well, okay, maybe it's a little slow, slow pace, but it went that way the whole match. Do you and think it, WWE made it, made it that way on purpose? Um, I don't know. I mean, uh, I don't I, think they should have had this match at all. At this I don't either. I think I, they should have waited till Mania. They should have waited to, ma- this, to Mania match. to have this match. I can was, understand that they wanted to see the chemistry between the two, but do that at some house shows. Put them in a couple tag team matches. Put them, you know, in there. See what the chemistry is. Not have one on one a big match that like that. A uh, big marquee match that that should have been waited to Mania. I always thought they should have. Uh, just made the whole feud last a little longer up before they actually got you know to to fighting. Um, yeah, the match wasn't that good. Um, what what about the one two pin? What yeah, was I that? Know, that was crazy. Uh, that, I don't know if that was a, either a that ref should be fired or, mistake, or yeah, but, the, um, yeah, the ref needs. You it, know. it was a clear two count. It looked like the the ref went. To do the third count. It seems like his, another his, Montreal his, screw job yeah, kind of thing. It was exactly. You know? That's the first thing I said to him as soon as it happened. I was like, can you say screw job? Yeah, um, yeah that was an obvious two count. Um, big mess up. And it just it, it just made the whole match look even worse and sloppier. I want to see what they do next um, at WrestleMania. And really, I hope that that is a great match. Because this was the one that I was anticipating the most, actually. All right. All right. And the last match, um, which was actually the first match on the card, but the last match that we'll talk about is uh, the authority, um, Seth Rollins, Big Show, and Kane versus Ziggler, Rollins, and Ryback. Um, And the return of Randy Orton, which came at the end of the match. What did you think about that? Um, As far as the match, it, it, it was a good match. It just disappointed me in that I didn't really want to see this match. I I have no need to see the authority wrestling. It really doesn't entertain me. I would have rather have seen Seth Rollins versus Dolph right. Ziggler. If we if the first match was Seth Rollins versus Dolph Ziggler, Probably that would have been, been amazing. Match, amazing. I'd love right. to see that feud. Um and then having <clears throat> Dolph Ziggler being the one getting pinned by Kane. Of all people, yeah, that doesn't make was, any sense. Was it just made no sense? So either you need to have Seth Rollins win this match um, and pin and pin Ziggler, or Seth Rollins uh, pinning Eric Rowan, who you know is most likely to get pinned out of those guys because he's the the newer guy. But yeah, so the match was it, it wasn't a good start off for me uh, for the thing. As far as Orton coming in. I, I didn't want I was I did not want to see him come in at, at Fastlane. I'd rather have seen him come in at, on Raw, oh, yeah. but he did come in at Fastlane. Or I would have rather him cost the Authority their match instead yeah. of him coming at coming the end after, of the match. which it would do. It, it was useless. No I yeah. mean, it was it was just useless. Um, so yeah, they and, waited all this time for it to bring him in, and they don't even use it right. You know, yeah. I mean. So going from that, let's lead into Raw. So Randy Orton coming into Raw, um, what did you think about that? I think him coming back to Raw and his first promo back was amazing. I think that was one of his best promos in the last few years. He's better off as a heel than a face. Made me really happy he's back. And I'm looking forward to the Seth Rollins and Randy Orton match at WrestleMania. Yeah, definitely. Um, I love Randy Orton. I'm really looking forward to that. Do you think that this was kind of... um, punishment for Seth Rollins putting him in the, this this six man tag thing for it you know the been. whole controversy it could have been or it could have been something that they've been planning for a while i i just don't get it cuz i think they're, they're trying to make Seth Rollins is he's the top guy he's the next guy it been a and then you're putting him in a match like this it 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 just doesn't make sense to me it seems like you know maybe they're just trying to to get people to forget about what happened and maybe not put so much attention on him right now. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm wrong, but um, I think Seth Rollins should be much higher up on the card than this, and uh, I, I want to see them pushing him more. Um, the whole Jon Stewart thing, let's talk about that since we're on Seth Rollins. Um, the first time I saw it, I was like, "This is, uh, this is the, here's your celebrity for WrestleMania, right? That's what I said. Yeah, but um, I really don't want to see him being added into this great match of Seth Rollins. It was, it was a Randy bad Orton. promo. By uh, John Stewart, uh, cut, people actually are crazy and saying really? that it was oh, no, the, it was... better than uh, Roman Reigns. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, um, that's, this is another thing. It's like <laughs> I, I think this is another thing to distract from what happened in 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 the media with the Seth could Rollins be. controversy. Possible, um, you know, if they could show somebody like John Stewart back in um, Seth Rollins. Um, 
then yeah, yeah. but do you really want to see him be part of that potentially great match with Seth Rollins and Randy Orton? No. I mean, if if this is if he's part of this match, this is going to ruin it this for me. This is going to ruin the match. Um, but you know how they always have to have their celebrities for WrestleMania. Yeah, but don't put this in in this. You know, yeah. I mean, Roman Reigns um, on Raw. This was this was a great promo. Um, I was I loved it. I I they did the whole uh, Paul I Heyman think- coming and teasing that he would turn on on Lesnar, but then he didn't, which was great. I lo- I love that that whole. Yeah, I think um, he's getting comfortable tease. now on the mic a little bit more. Yeah, I he's, mean, and it looked like he was him. He looked like he was being a little bit more him. Right, so maybe and they gave him a little leeway. A little more, he was hopefully they gave him a little more leeway. But yeah, this was probably his best promo yet. He's getting better and better. Maybe he's maybe it just took him a while. Maybe he wasn't comfortable in the beginning. We'll see. But for me, this was a this was a great segment. Um, and I I enjoyed seeing this more than I did the Sting Triple H thing. Uh, you know, Paul Heyman, of course, you know, he's, he's going to be a good, he's good gold on the mic. mic yeah. yeah. So yeah, that was my highlight for raw, at least Barrett again, uh, losing two in a row. He lost against Ziggler. What, what are your thoughts on that? From what I know that Barrett always lost a lot of matches though. I mean, even, even before, yeah. beforehand, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what it is that that it is that they just have him keep losing. I mean, it doesn't make any sense right now for him to be losing, especially when he's the Intercontinental Champion. Uh, they're making him look weak. I mean... Uh, especially I the fact that a big guy like that can't get his belt back. I mean, why is Ambrose... What, what I was thinking is, why is Ambrose standing there with the belt, holding it up, and he's sitting there like a child in the corner, scared? Yeah. yeah. It just... It, it, looked it, weak it didn't and, make any and sense to me. Sense. And then they had our truth out there. So this is leading me to believe that this is going to be a another way, uh, four-way, a four-way match. match, probably, with Ziggler um, thrown in there um, for the title. Um, well, so, well, so well, what do you feel feel about that being a three- or four-way match? Uh, and R-Truth being in that <laughs> match, for that matter. I mean... Me, R-Truth doesn't do nothing. I think uh, R-Truth stale, does nothing for me. Stale, I mean... He, he, the, the highlight of R-Truth's career for me was when he was... Uh, what was he, like, smoking in public? Or... <laughs> <laughs> Did he pull out a cigarette got, or something like that and he got on TV? It, yeah. And he got fined for it? That was the highlight of R-Truth's <laughs> career for me, at least. Uh, but, yeah. That was the best thing he ever and, did. And for me, I am tired of these three- and four-way matches. I want to see one-on-one action. All the way through the band. All the way through. Um, I'm, yeah. I'm I'm tired of these matches, but again, that's just the way that they're getting these guys on the card yeah. uh, for a payday. Yeah, primetime players, and they versus the Ascension. Um, now, I've talked in the in the past about how I like the Ascension, but they're not booking them right. They 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 keep constantly doing the wrong thing with this team. They're not putting them over the right way. Um, my first uh, problem with this match was that they 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 the primetime players made a big comeback. It was a it was it was really it was cool seeing them come back. They don't even have them have a proper entrance. The Ascension gets the entrance. Primetime players are already in the ring. Primetime player gets the win over the Ascension. So now I'm just confused. Who are you trying to put over? The Ascension or the primetime players? Uh, what do you what do you think? At, th- at this point, I think they should go f- putting over the primetime players. They're more over. People know who they are. Uh, the ex- Ascension should be just go back to Next. I like them on Next. The first time that they came on Raw, I already hated them because they didn't book it right, you know. And and the way they came out, no one knew who they were. The f- the f- one and of they the big mistakes. Still don't know who they are. One of the mistakes that they're doing with the Ascension, which I don't agree with, and I know they're trying to get heat on them, but the Ascension calling out the older tag teams and saying that they're better than them saying that they're better oh, saying that they're better than all the other uh older tag teams you know the bushwhackers the 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 road warriors all them um bushwhackers going to the hall of fame yeah but big big mistake um that was mistake number 1 yeah the second mistake was getting beat by uh road dog and billy gunn and having them look really stupid um and uh, and not having them, uh, their their one good match that I agreed with how they how they booked it right was when they had those two no namers that they squashed. 
Um, right, I remember that, you saying that. Yeah, you, you that, like that. That, that was the one. That was what yeah. they need to do, and they didn't do that right, and they were they were, they were just putting up uh, them up against the wrong teams. So we keep seeing promos for Sheamus that he's going to be returning, which back. leads us to what are they doing with Brian? It's still there's nothing on the table uh, yet. So then it's obvious. The that talks about him versus Sheamus, which they've not. They haven't started any yeah, kind of storyline leading story, up to they're, that. They're going to wait for two weeks so to build up a story. So it doesn't just gonna, make any sense. They're just going to throw these two guys in a match. Um, as of right now, they're both faces. Uh, so I don't know. Um, maybe Sheamus wins this Battle Royal match, and we'll see what happens from there. They could possibly still Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, and Daniel Bryan. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think that that's going to happen. I wouldn't even be surprised if Sheamus wins that Battle Royal and then they throw him in the match right after that with, with Bryan. No, I don't see that happening. But, uh, yeah, as of right now, nothing's booked. The, I don't see that. I don't see them being in two matches that night. I don't think they're going to put Daniel Bryan in two matches again this year like they did last year. I or if Vince McMahon really wants to lose more, uh, more followers and less people, <laughs> he could not put Bryan in any match at all. Just to screw all the <laughs> all the fans, I, I think they would probably leave the building if that happens. Oh. Um, last thing, let's talk about Undertaker. Um, Undertaker, um, I didn't think that he was going to make any appearance until WrestleMania. That he'll finally just show up on WrestleMania. Um, that was my my prediction. Is it looks like that's probably what's going to happen. Um, what do you think? He did that back in two thousand and four. When he fought his brother Kane, that would be the you know, best thing. Uh, he didn't show up until Mania. It definitely right. worked then, and it could work now, especially with Bray Wyatt, where he's such a great talker. You don't need Undertaker to come in. What's Undertaker going to do? He's going to come in, give a choke slam, uh, point at the sign, and <sighs> that's basically it. That he does that every year. It's boring. Do something new. We'll see. So I think probably leading to the next WrestleMania, which will be. Um, Sting versus Taker. Sting versus Taker, which will probably be Undertaker's last match. You think that's why maybe he wins this year, so that way it makes him look strong against Sting next year? Yeah. Uh, that was Fastlane 2015, and the following Raw, those were our, our, what we thought about the shows. And um, thank you for watching the video, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. All right? So, Mega Man, Chris Mercado, Assassin Salmarasa, see you guys next week. Best tag team champions ever. Yeah, right, sucker.